Hi everyone, today we want to talk about how to calculate the collapse load factor of the steel frame. Let's go. Firstly, what is the collapse load and the collapse load factor? The collapse load or the collapse load factor is the value which the collapse occur on it. So, the load factor at which the structure is changed into a mechanism, in another meaning, the factor value which the collapse occur on it. How to find the load factor or the collapse load? We must follow many steps to find the collapse load and the collapse load factor. In the end, we take the lowest value between the load factor and the collapse load factor, which is be the, the closest to the actual collapse load factor and collapse load. But if the question asks us to find the blasting moment or the moment uh, that the collapse occur on it, uh, which means the blasting moment, uh, we use the same procedure uh, that we use it to find the collapse load and collapse load factor. But the only difference in the end of these steps, we we take the highest value between the result. So in this presentation, we will take two types of a frame, the first two bay frame and the second two story frame. Firstly, two bay frame, uh, as you see in the uh, slide, uh, this is the shape of two bay uh, frame that extend in horizontal uh, direction. And this frame is applied to vertical and horizontal load. Let's go to know what is the procedure to find the collapse load and collapse load factor. How to find the critical load factor for two bay frame? We must know we must know that we need sufficient blasting hinges for the structure to become a mechanism. This is called the mechanism condition. So we start from step one that uh, say draw the beam mechanism of right beam of a frame. Then we draw the uh, beam mechanism uh, for left beam of a frame. Then this uh, step one and st step two uh, is happen, uh, happen uh, due to the vertical loads. But step three that, uh, that say draw the sway mechanism of the frame uh, that happen due to vertical uh, horizontal load. Then we go to step four that is joint rotation mechanism. When we know that we, when we uh, combine the beam and sway mechanism with the joint rotation mechanism, we call it elementary mechanism. Joint rotation mechanism can form at any joint that, uh, uh, that contain three or more members meet. This joint rotation make the, uh, uh, in many cases, uh, not all cases, make the, uh, uh, the load uh, factor uh, be uh, lower than uh, don't use it. In step five, we draw the sway mechanism with right beam mechanism. Uh, six, draw, uh, draw, uh, draw the sway mechanism with lift beam mechanism. Step seven, draw the sway mechanism with lift beam mechanism. Step eight, draw the sway mechanism with right beam mechanism and joint rotation. Step nine, uh, draw the lower load factor from step eight or step nine with the other side beams. And in the lift of the slide, uh, in the left of the slide, we see the uh, the form of all mechanism in all steps that I say uh, already. 
We will take uh, the first example. Uh, we have a two bay frame with the vertical loads and horizontal load. Uh, we have a blasting uh, moment for columns uh, that uh, equal a uh, 20, and the right beam, uh, the blasting moment uh, for it equal uh, equal it and uh, the left one equal 50. Uh, we going to the first step that uh, say beam mechanism of right beam. Uh, we uh, take the work external equal work internal. External work done by the applied load force multiply with the displacement for all the load that depend uh, that the mechanism uh, the beam mechanism depend on it but the internal work is absorbed by rotation of the plastic hinge which it's a free rotation for over hinge blasting hinges okay then we take the external uh, uh, load that equal 12 lambda uh, multiply with the distance that uh, 15 uh, theta that is uh, uh, the same uh, meaning of displacement equal the mb uh, for the uh, beam that right beam with uh, multiply with the uh, theta plus uh, uh, plus 80 multiply uh, 2 theta plus 20 theta. Then we find the collapse load factor for the first mechanism. The second, the beam mechanism for lift beam, uh, the same procedure and the lambda equal 2.833. Uh, let's go to the third steps uh, that uh, say the sway mechanism. This sway mechanism due to the uh, horizontal force, we use just the blasting moment for columns. The same uh, rule, we following the, the same uh, equation, then the lambda equal 2. The joint rotation that uh, we use it uh, with the, uh, the previous uh, mechanism uh, to change uh, its name to elementary mechanism. The five uh, steps, the sway mechanism with right beam mechanism, uh, we use the same equation and follow uh, the uh, procedure, then e lambda equal 1.583, then the sway mechanism with lift beam mechanism work external equal work internal uh, lambda equal 2.083 uh, the seven step the sway mechanism with lift beam mechanism and joint rotation in this case the lambda be lower or less than the lambda uh, that we use the sway mechanism without joint rotation. It uh, step the sway mechanism with right mechanism and joint rotation. We take the lowest load factor in step 7, the equal lambda equal 1.375. Uh, number 10 merge the step 9 with the, the lift beam. Then the lambda equal 1.533, the critical collapse load equal 1.375, the that calculated in step number 7. In this example, example number 2, we have a two bay frame with a different level uh, with a horizontal uh, load and uh, or a vertical loads uh, in different level. Uh, we have lambda in level 1 and lambda uh, for level 2. We use the same procedure. Uh, that we follow it uh, in previous slide. Uh, first, the beam mechanism of right beam, we uh, follow the uh, main equation work external equal work internal and lambda equal 2 MB over L. The second, the second 
step the beam mechanism left beam of the frame uh, and lambda equal 3.11 mb over l then we going to uh, the sway mechanism of the frame due to the horizontal uh, load uh, in the level one and level two firstly we must find the relation between theta and alpha uh, as uh, as the picture show that uh, delta uh, in bay 1 must equal the delta in bay 2 so the relation uh, will make uh, in this uh, uh, concept 2L multiply with theta this is uh, the value of delta in bay 1 equal the delta in bay 2 that which equal uh, L multiply with theta we are going to to know that theta equal alpha over 2 then we going to the main equation work external equal work internal then we going to uh, to find that lambda equal 2.75 mb over l The, for the sway mechanism with right beam mechanism uh, and we must not uh, forget the uh, the relation between the uh, uh, the the, uh, the angle in bay one and angle in bay two uh, and we're going to find lambda equal 2.375 mb over l then we're going to sway mechanism with left beam mechanism and the same procedure for a previous slide lambda equal 2.235 mb of step number six the lowest load factor from step eight or step number nine which other side b which it on the step five is the lowest uh, uh, lowest uh, load factor uh, we going with the uh, the other side beam and follow the the same steps and uh, we going to find lambda equal 2.38 mb over l we in the end the critical collapse factor equal lambda equal 2.235 mb over l that calculate on step number five not that we didn't use the joint rotation because the rounded blasting moment of the joint is the same in addition the net result of the moment is the same if we use the joint rotation mechanism or not uh, the, the, uh, the another type of uh, the frame is a two-story uh, frame uh, we have uh, two story frame we have a uh, bottom frame and top frame uh, and this frame applied to a uh, vertical and horizontal load let's go to uh, know what the procedure to find the uh, critical collapse load and uh, the uh, uh, collapse uh, factor how to find the critical load factor for two story frame First, draw the beam mechanism for uh, upper beam of the frame, frame as shown in the next picture, uh, that, uh, that show where the blasting hinge occur for each mechanism. The second step, draw the beam mechanism for lower beam. The third step, draw the sway mechanism of the top part only the top part of the frame then the four step uh, the step number four draw the sway mechanism of the bottom part of the frame in step number five we draw the joint rotation mechanism this is step outward the lowest rotation on the joint uh, step number six draw the sway mechanism for all the frame which merge the top and bottom parts of the frame uh, in step number seven draw the sway mechanism with joint rotation uh, mechanism step number eight draw the sway mechanism with joint rotation that make the lower rotation on the joint with upper beam step number nine draw the sway mechanism with joint rotation that make the lower rotation on the joint with the lower beam Step number 10, the, draw the lowest load factor from the lower load factor from step 6 or 7 with the upper and lower beam.
Uh, let's uh, take uh, example number three about two story frame. We have two story frame applied uh, the uh, applied to horizontal and vertical load. In this example, MB is constant uh, for columns and beams uh, and equal to hundred. Uh, let's go to the procedure. The beam mechanism. Uh, the first step. The beam mechanism of our beam of the frame. We're going to the main uh, equation. Work external equal work internal. Uh, then lambda equal 2.67. In this case, MB is constant for columns and beam. But if we have MB uh, of columns different about the MB of beams, uh, the intersection hinge between the beams and column, we will take the lower one. In the second step, the beam mechanism, low, uh, lower beam of the frame, uh, going to the main, uh, equation again work external equal work internal then lambda equal two the third uh, the third uh, uh, step the sway mechanism of the top part of the frame uh, and lambda equal four Step number nine, the sway mechanism of joint rotation with lower beam. Uh, we're going to use the same main equation, work external equal work internal, lambda equal 1.714. Uh, then we go to the last step, the lower load factor from uh, step eight or step number nine. Uh, here we, uh, the lower one is step number nine, so we add it to, uh, to the upper uh, beam and going to the main equation to find lambda that equal 1.429 uh, in the uh, end uh, the critical collapse factor equal 1.429 that uh, calculate on step number 10 this uh, factor that uh, make the uh, frame failure thank you for listening if you have any question Please leave a comment and if you would like to see more of these videos, please subscribe, like and share.